What is going on guys, today we are looking at Inform Odengard, or pretty much his one to watch. Um, luckily, I don't know how, we managed to get Odengard and Party in the first team of the week after one to watches have been released, and for some reason, I have both of them. I don't quite think that I've ever had me this many one to watches in an actual team in a team in a week that have gone up we've got own god up to 85 from 83 and then we've got party up from 84 to 86 two big upgrades for two really good players and honestly i literally today just got parties uh one one to watch out and i'm going to be doing his one to watch upgrade after this video so definitely stay tuned for that one Odengard has had a nice little upgrade there's a plus twos plus threes here there and everywhere with it it's quite a decent card if you've got the one to watch. The inform for me, a right mid is not the card for, for this guy. He really is not a right winger whatsoever. He is out and out a really nice cam. And honestly, you'll see in the clips as soon as we go on to them, some phenomenal stuff. He absolutely hit the ground running. I don't know what it was, but he definitely had his sprouts this morning because he was scoring after scoring after scoring. Honestly, I felt like he was never missing. Really, really good player. And I liked him even at the 83. I thought he was a nice, cheap, uh, cheap one to watch card you can get. And like I said, there's potential for him to go up. Pretty much now, obviously, it's not for, for Real Madrid, unfortunately, but a cracking game for Norway. Obviously, we saw Haaland get into it as well, but didn't quite get the back-to-back -back team in the weeks. But there's always room for that, and that's a very interesting sign for him. If he can have games like that for Norway and get himself in the inform, at least there's a potential for that at, at the very minimum. With Real Madrid, hopefully he does get in the team and really proves himself. But so far, already first weekend, and we've got a double upgrade. I'm very happy with the results. He did spike up to about 50k as soon as it was announced or as soon as it was released. But then he's dropped down now to about 34, 35k on the Xbox. So pretty much that's going to be his settling price right now. And then again, when we get some hype, it will just keep building and building and building. So really good card. We haven't got no upgrades on him on his weak foot or, uh, well, obviously his skill moves is five star, but no uh, three star weak foot as of yet. We've still got the two star. He has now got 80 pace, 86 dribbling, 79 shooting, 87 passing and 65 physical. Predominantly, a lot of things have just gone up by two. And then obviously throughout, you've got a few de decent upgrades going through. And honestly, I'm really happy with this card again. I feel like it's such a good card. Again, I believe this the same sort of chemistry style we had for the last one. Everyone wants him on a hunter. Turns him into an 86 rated cam or an 85 center forward. It's a solid move. You get great pace off it. Decent shooting stats. He's already got nice dribbling. Obviously, we want more of an upgrade for that composure to go up. And then he's already got sick passing. Honestly, there's not much more you want from this kid. His dribbling is absolutely impeccable because of the five star. Yes, he has no weak foot, but to be honest, he has an absolute sweet left foot. So I, why, I, why you would want to have anything else is beyond me. In terms of traits, we have got outside of the foot shot, solid player and flair. So some really good traits right there. Really decent to have on this game. And overall... And not a bad card at all again. I, I feel like I'm reiterating, but he is. He's gone up two upgrades. He's literally stayed around about the same price. I think he dropped to about 20 um, just before being 30. And then now he's back up over 30. He's going to chill around there for a little bit. And then more than likely, as he doesn't get into Real Madrid, or if he does get into Real Madrid, um, he will go down if he doesn't get another team in a week. So we can kind of cross him off for next week. Normally, they don't go back to back unless you had an, an unreal game. Haaland got, I think, a hat trick and still didn't manage to get one. So obviously, that does tell you something that more than likely, you'd have to score six or seven goals to get yourself uh, back in that team in a week. So we will take a break from Odengard after this. I'm very surprised that I'm even doing doing reviews on the one to watch as I've literally done a couple of days ago. Party will have two reviews today, which is just nuts. But let's get into some gameplay, see how we got on. So what can I say about Odin God? Honestly, he was absolutely impeccable today. He really could not miss whatsoever. He was passing, assisting, scoring. He was just an absolute force going forward and scored so many goals. It was absolutely unreal. We do see a bit of a slow start, obviously getting into the game. We did struggle a little bit, but... 11 minutes in, we managed to get that pass across keeper. It's a lovely little tap in. It, Pepe did pretty much most of the work there, but it's always being in that position which counts. And obviously he was already there. We see him again running forward, absolutely darting from that cam roll. He nearly spins somebody, gets it across goal, 
And that's his second one already in 25 minutes. Honestly, the kid could not miss. He was making assists, as you see here. Again, another assist into Ansu there. Bit of pace. I wanted him to be able to come on that cutback right there so I could pass it across. Unfortunately, he did kind of wander off, probably covering a position, if anything. But he really was playing with Ansu very, very nicely um, down that wing, passing it in inside here. And I want to get it back to him again. But unfortunately, I don't feel like the ball was exactly there. He kind of stopped again. Sometimes a little bit of an issue, but... Most of the time, it may be my passing. We see again getting the chest over Sanchez and then hitting it in front of the keeper. Keeper making a lovely save with his feet. Sometimes that goes in, sometimes it doesn't. But overall, very, very nice play. And we can see again, lovely little spin. Manages to get lucky with there. Little scoop and then a right. I just love that connection. He did get lucky with a few of them, a few, uh, like a few of them but he was always there. Managing to get them shots, managing to get them skills. And just getting the goals, that's all I want him for. Even now, assisting it in, the second assist ahead of him. Beautiful stuff. Again, we see him here, comes across goal. It, he's literally scoring for fun. He was absolutely brilliant today. And a lot better than his 83, I must say. Sometimes I normally say, if it's like a two upgrade, I don't really see it. But honestly, I saw every bit of upgrade from Odengard today. He was absolutely phenomenal. So going into the overall then for own guard, as you can see right here, we've got all of the info. He's an 85. We've got his inform right here. Again, same stats. Uh, I think he's, is he, ex no, he's not, ex is he extinct? Oh, yeah, of course he's extinct because Odengard's obviously in packs. That's why he's dropping down in price. I didn't even really think about that. So obviously his 85 at the moment is extinct because he's got his 85 in packs. I don't know why they don't put both, but I, I suppose there's a whole thing behind that. But at the minute, you'll get the one to watch Odengard rather than the right mid. And I think you'll definitely be lucky enough too, because for me, he's really just not worth getting his right mid. But with that being said, phenomenal card, 35k well spent. Links wise, you kind of have to go more around the kind of Liga BBVA or Liga Santander, in fact. Or you go with maybe a Real Madrid link. Personally, we have Varane, we have Valverde, we had Mendy, and then Ansu as well for that weak link. There's plenty of peop uh, people to link him. Obviously, you do have Haaland as well. Another cracking link if you kind of go with that La Liga slash Bundesliga side. Very nice two to link there. And obviously, two really good players with some very nice special cards already in the game. And just overall, a dream to play with. For 30k, I really couldn't ask for better. Honestly, as an 85, I didn't think he'd be... I didn't think I'd see much of an upgrade from him, but I really did. I thought he was a very, very well-rounded card in terms of his ability. Not necessarily stats on the card. I feel like Partey, for me, was really good with that. But it's just the overall ability on the ball. I really enjoyed his dribbling. I think the five-star works absolutely amazing. The weak foot is a bit of a negative. Pace-wise, I thought he held his own. Maybe not the most rapid player in the world, but definitely can get past players. And with them scoops, as you saw in that goal, it's absolute child's play. If people go with that, that kind of jump in challenge, just move it out of the way. He's quick enough. He's got the ball roll. And he's got a little bit of a shot on him as well. With a hunter, you can't argue with him. He's got a good shot then. His dribbling's fantastic. Passing is really nice as well. Strength-wise, not quite there. But obviously, you can work on that as well if you really wanted. But I think he doesn't need it for me. Overall, like I put, 7.5. I feel like he's definitely had an upgrade. But for me... He's still got that little bit to go. Obviously, to be in a foot champs team, to be in a really competitive matchup, maybe you could get away with Weekend League 1. But I think from there, you definitely want to be looking at somebody else who's higher rated, maybe a little bit more statted. But definitely, definitely, if he gets a couple more, he's really close to being a really good player to have in your team. But hopefully you did enjoy this video. Let me know down below what you think. And did you get him in your want to watch pack? Are you lucky enough to have his Odin guard one to watch untradeable or parte? Let me know down below who you got. And also, if you want to see anyone else from Team of the Week, let me know down below. That's going to be the comment today. But for now, that's it.